We now talk about Bob Phillips' new book, A Good Long Drive, 50 Years of the Texas Country Reporter. Wow. This was challenging. Uh, you know, as we've known for some time, if things continued as they had, that we were going to hit this 50th season. And everybody on my staff, all the TCR crew would say, Bob, when are you going to do the book? What's the book going to be about? What book? And they said, everybody's going to be expecting a book. You can't do something, the same thing, for 50 years and not write a book about it. <laughs> and I kept saying, oh, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Then we hit this thing called COVID, and everybody oh. got sent home. Yeah. And you go home, and we're used to traveling. We travel all the time all over the state. And Kelly and I were just sitting there at home you can't go anywhere nothing's open you're you know we talked on the phone to our crew every day and you know kept doing business as best we could but as i got more and more bored just sitting there because i couldn't go travel around the state of texas i started thinking about it and i woke up in the middle of the night and it just hit me how I would, how i would approach the book wow. i got up at three o'clock in the morning and when the sun came up, Kelly rolled out of bed and walked in looking for me. And there I was sitting at the computer, just hammering away. Typing away. And I did that for about three weeks and sent it to UT Press in Austin. Wow. And said, hey, take a look at my book. And I got a response right away. We want to publish this. And, and like just rough. Boom. Just, Boom. yeah, that was just my rough over. first draft. That's, amazing. That's like Jack Kerouac. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Not, not, not that great. It's good. You know. well, it's got a road involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we both have a road involved. You know? mm -hmm. So, you know, and you know, Jack Kerouac is actually the, probably the original, the, the original inspiration because he inspired Charles Kuralt and Charles Kuralt, who did On the Road with Charles Kuralt, uh, inspired me and was my mentor and I traveled with him. And I just sat down and started telling my own story of my life and how it mixed with the story of this TV show that just came to be almost by accident. Yeah, it seems And how it's been going for 50 years. Yeah. It seems like you weren't even expecting it, you know? No, it, no, you don't boom. expect something like this. If you did, if you expected it, you would, you would be a lot more diligent at keeping notes and pictures and things, which I have not been. So I had to rely on my memory to recreate this story. And luckily, you know, enough of it, and there are enough people around who could verify things that I thought I remembered. And so that's, that's what a good long drive is all about. It's uh, about how my life intermingled with this, this TV show. How an unlikely kid from old East Dallas, who at the time didn't have two dimes to rub together, uh, came up with an idea for a TV show and it lasted for 50 years and hopefully more. And you've got stories in there from the show and from your own experiences. Yeah, and, I, I, and, and you can kind of see, when you read the whole book, I think you can kind of see how I was destined to do this, even though I didn't know it. I was kind of destined to do it. My dad was a great storyteller. Uh, you know, I became great friends with Tom Landry, who uh, Coach Landry kind of, uh, he, he mentored me in, in life. Yeah. when I was traveling with the Cowboys. Uh, I became great friends with Charles Kuralt and he did the same thing and taught me the art of storytelling his way. And you know, I fine tuned all of that, took it all, um, added my own touches to it and here it is. Well, let's go ahead and share with our viewers how they can get a copy, hopefully if it's not out of print at well, the moment. The, and, and as you and I are sitting here, we just got word that the first, the first printing is sold out. Wow. But right now, they are printing more. And any time now that the second printing of this book is supposed to be back on the shelves, as they say. You definitely want to get it on your Amazon wish list for sure. <laughs> and you go to utexaspress.com to get more information about the book. And coming up, don't go anywhere. We're going to learn about what it's been like being on tour for Bob Phillips and Kelly.